Kai Sanat has built a big name for himself in the social media industry, but his brand even grew bigger than he was expecting it. From becoming the best streamer of the year twice, to breaking the record of attracting the most subscribers on Twitch and officially being crowned as the king of Twitch, his influence has inevitably made waves across the internet, music industry, and beyond. A guy like Kai is the only one who can cause a riot in New York City because of his PS5 giveaway. Turns out, being a successful live streamer like Kai Sinat comes with its highs and lows. The world of streaming offers a lot of opportunities for fame connection and financial gain, but there is a darker side to it where conflicts in the weight of expectations are inevitable. It all started in 2022, when Kai featured 21 Savage as his first guest rapper. This stream boosted him to other levels, and it was the start of an era for the Kai Mafia. His fans loved it that he added celebrity hosting to his streaming menu. He then featured other rappers like Bobby Shmurda, Ice Spice, Offset, Nicki Minaj, and so many more. Streamers like Kai are the biggest press outlet at the moment they can create a lot of buzz and hype for any artist or event that they feature on their platforms. Even a streamer reacting to a song can do a lot for an artist good or bad. Kai Tanat is a major pioneer when it comes to reacting to many artists' songs and albums, which makes him a big influence as his community. The Kai Mafia and others mostly follow what he does and have the same opinion on an artist. If you want to see how much power a live streamer like Kai has over the music industry, take a look at his beef with Memphis rapper Glorilla. Glorilla emerged in the rap scene in 2022 with her hit single FNF since then. She has been a big name on the stage, proudly representing Memphis with her unapologetic Southern style. But during this run, she also formed a friendship with Kai in the recent Instagram live session, showcasing their mutual affection for each other. But it was short-lived. In September 2023, Gorilla released Cha 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 featuring Fivio Foreign, despite it having a million views on YouTube. Kai voiced negative opinions about the song during a live stream. Glorilla didn't like Kai's reaction, so she got on Instagram Live and blocked Kai Sanat in front of her whole public. Learning about this, Kai reacted to it in his stream, and he said he was disappointed in what Glorilla did. No way! This situation was bad for Glorilla because her song Cha 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 got two times more dislikes on YouTube than likes it got. That is when the public decided to turn their backs on her just because she blocked Kai. It even got worse as days went by. Her label told her that it was a bad promotion and a bad image for her, so they advised her to make amends with Kai Sanat. She took to Twitter to say that she might be considering unblocking Kai Sanat. It has come to the point where rappers are at his mercy when it comes to Kai reacting to their projects. They don't want him to give them a bad review because the outcome of that can result in people not giving it a chance because they're basing it off of his reaction. Looking back in the days, Aiden Ross is the one who started this movement of rappers appearing on stream. Aiden Ross's name was a consistent presence on hip-hop social media pages, who posted his content without a second thought about its offensive nature, and it actually not only helped Aiden gain a following, but also the rappers who needed to promote their music as well. There was a shift happening. It seemed as if streamers weren't only needing rappers and streams, but it was actually vice versa. Aiden told Adam22 in an interview on the No Jumper podcast that if a rapper that's not on like they used to be, and they come onto his stream, which is hot right now, right before they drop a single or project is the perfect promotion. Then, after Aiden came Kai Sanat, who totally changed the game for streamers and artists at the same time. Well, it all comes down to who he is originally, his personality. I mean, Kai dresses like a rapper to fit that image and appeal to the general audience when he's with these rappers. Another thing is Kai is black, which is why he is more influential among rappers and in the hip hop industry. He has popularized many internet slangs, which are used by most young internet users these days. He got more relatability when it comes to Kai's combination of comedy, gaming, and music, specifically hip hop and R&B, which has helped him grow into one of the most influential content creators of this generation. One of the biggest pioneers in the game, DJ Academic said that Kai unknowingly or knowingly is the make or break decision for the music label that signed the artist. DJ Academics and Kai talked, and Kai told him that the music labels are offering him a wild amount of money to even just do reactions. But he's like, I don't take it. The thing DJ Academic said was that it was dope on Kai's part, 
but there's a lot of pressure on him because now all of these rappers, their entire marketing is hoping KC Nat reacts to their song favorably. And if he does, they all run with it. They'd be like, yo, let everybody know that Kai turned up to the song or turned up to the album or likes this or likes that. That's a heavy shoulder because now if he doesn't like something that one artist has done or that he didn't react positively, the artists are going to be like, yo, you hate on me. Which is likely to bring conflicts to Kai Sinat. A good example of this scenario is when Travis Scott released Utopia. He also posted a picture of Kai Sinat holding briefcases of Utopia on his Instagram story. This was an appreciation of Kai for having reacted to his new album. And guess what? Utopia did get a lot of buzz and talk, which Kai may have directly and indirectly influenced. I mean, look at the Google top search result when Kai and Offset did a stream Offset had a noticeable spike on social media platforms. He was the trending topic for the rap community that week. He was on that stream for 24 hours, and fans got to see a side of him that people never saw. It was smart on Offset's end and Kai's side. Kai knows this, and he told his community that the reason for him having guests on stream is not to just have guests on stream, but he wants it to be an opportunity for them to display their personality and display to the audience that no matter how successful they get or how big things are, they all are normal human beings. Streaming is a new window, and maybe a handful of rappers can pull off not relying on social media to stay relevant, like Cardi B. That's impressive to do so in this day and age. And it's even more impressive since they are rappers who blew up in the social media age where everything comes and goes, but something that rappers or a lot of rappers lack is engagement. It's kind of shocking to see rappers like DaBaby have 20 million followers on IG, but the engagement be very disappointing. It's like a scam at that point. And it could be argued that the reason for that is because rappers are only known for their two minute songs. And that's kind of small compared to live streamers and content creators where fans watch them for a couple of hours minimum to 24 hours. That is why many rappers have turned to Kai Sinat's live stream. Rappers like Ice Spice, Lil Baby, NLE Choppa, Blueface, and Nicki Minaj, who recently had a stream with Kai and broke his previous record for the most viewed stream on Twitch with 350k viewers. The next Nicki Minaj invited Kai and Phantom on stage during her Jingle Ball concert performance. Last year, Kai indeed took it to another level with his streams doing a seven-day stream and bringing rappers on in jail, which was something very. Kai was joined by rappers like NLE Choppa, Christian Rock, and Ski Mask to Slump Gad. Even Drake mentioned it in his song First Person Shooter, appreciating KI's effort and calling him during one of his live streams. Lil Yachty, who's close to streamers, recently said that Kai makes more bread than 90% of rappers. I repeat what I said earlier when I said that it has come to the point where rappers are at his mercy when it comes to Kai reacting to their projects. They don't want the streamer to give them a bad review because the outcome of that can result in people not giving it a chance because they're basing it off of a streamer's reaction. Kai, as of right now, is one of the most influential figures in the hip-hop culture and in the online community. Kai knows this as he has confirmed that music labels are trying to use top streamers like him, but he has refused their money up to now. It's not only him, though, because labels have also hired the very controversial kick streamer Neon to promote their artist music to their audience, but that is a story for another day.